Hey everyone, Technometry with the video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a frozen, stuck, unresponsive, non-working iPad mini on the latest generation. So if you want the newer mini iPads, this is what you need to do to quickly fix it. So it's gonna be an easy fix. You're not gonna lose any of your data. First thing on the mini here, we're gonna look at these buttons up top. You see there's a volume up and volume down button. We need to press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down quickly one after another and then hold on to this lock or the touch your ID button and we're gonna keep on pressing it until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So in real time, I'll show you, I'll do volume up, volume down and then I hold on to that as you can see here right and I'm holding on to it it's gonna say slide to power up but don't touch that just keep on waiting for the screen to go completely black so we're gonna wait for it to go black and once it's gone black we're still gonna hold on to that button until we see the Apple logo at that time I let go of that touch or the lock button and the iPad should normally boot up and if you might uh, again get it the first time you might have to do it a few times it's completely safe to do all it's just doing is forcing the iPad to shut down and reload the code so just keep on trying volume up volume down one after another and then hold on to that uh, lock side button so here I can see volume up volume down and then I can do it again and I like I said as many times as you need to until you can get your iPad to working again if it's frozen stuck unresponsive screens not working Whatever the case is, this is the very good first go-to step, also known as a forced restart, which is the most recommended troubleshooting step you can do without losing any of your data and really safe and simple to do. As you can see here, I just did it again to fix the iPad. And I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.